Hello, everyone. This is Julia Bell from independencejewelry.com. Today, we are making this wire wrap gemstone pendant. This is a custom wrap for a friend of mine, and I thought it would be really cool to show how I made it. The first thing you want to do is pick up your irregular shaped gemstone. This is a piece of sodalite. Check out its natural shape and figure out which way you want it to go. Whoops. Sometimes I sketch out an idea and then it never looks like what I sketched. But I do it anyway, because I'm pretty sure it helps in some way. Bust out the 20 gauge wire and the 30 gauge wire and your cutters, round nose, and chain nose pliers. Cut four eight inch lengths of 20 gauge wire and straighten the pieces. Compare the width to the stone, and you can add more wires or subtract. It depends on like what you want the stone to look like. I'm going to weave the four wires together in a tight zigzag basket weave. If you would like to see more wire weave patterns up close, let me know in the comments below. You want to use a very long piece of 30 gauge wire for this wrap. I typically use an entire arm span of wire in a three inch long wrap. Too much wire is always better than not enough. Measure the stone against the length of the wrap. You want the wrap to be big enough to frame the stone. Start bending the frame around the gemstone. Do this part slowly and go with the natural shape of the stone. You should be able to hold the stone in place by holding the top wires. Flip to the back side of the stone and bend the top wires down to form a backing to the stone so you could work on the front. Take the next two wires on the back and make 90 degree angles to join the wires together parallel. This will become the bail later. Going back to the front side, grab the first pair of wires and wrap them around the bail wires one time. Do the same on the other side, but stop halfway around and leave the ends sticking out. I'm going to melt the ends of all the wires sticking out with my torch. The ends of wire is really where all the design takes place. You can melt them like I'm doing, or you can make spirals or hammer the wire flat with a tapered end. Bend the backing wires up through the frame. Now, you might be thinking, why didn't you melt the ends after threading the wire through? Which is what I should have done. So hopefully you do it the easy way. Going to the front again, we are going to do a series of small spirals and bends starting with the backing wires we threaded through and continue bending the wire ends freely around the frame. Once you are satisfied with the accent wires, take the remaining wires and make them parallel with the bail wires and straighten. Use the round nose pliers to bend the wires back and around to form the bail and then you want to cut and tuck the ends. After looking over my design, I decided to remove a section of wire that was overcrowding my design before I finish wrapping up the loose ends. Use 28 gauge wire to secure the end wires together and to the frame. I like to use two millimeter silver beads to wrap in between the wires where there are gaps. Do this for all the loose ends and make sure they are anchored to the frame. Trim and tuck all loose wires. Check for any wires poking out and make final adjustments until you are satisfied with what you just made. Hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this. That helps me out a lot. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. What should I wrap up next? Thanks for watching.